Greetings and welcome to yet another video. Today we will discuss about different types of boiler or classification of boilers. Different types of boiler are available in the market. Boilers have their use in different applications. Boilers are classified based on many factors like on the basis of contents of the tube. What is inside the tube based on that the boiler can be classified it can also be classified on the basis of number of tubes the axis of the cell and also based on the position of the furnace it is also classified according to the methods of circulation of water and steam on the basis of operating pressure and temperature and also and also on the basis of nature of use of the boiler on the basis of contents of the tubes boilers are classified as fire tube boiler and water tube boiler so let us understand about fire tube boiler suppose this is the furnace of the boiler where the combustion of fuel takes place inside this furnace and the product of combustion or hot gases passes through these tubes all the way to the chimney and hot gases ultimately get dispersed to the atmosphere through this chimney. So water absorbs the heat from the tubes which are heated by the hot gases or by the product of combustion. The content of the tubes is hot gases or combustion gases or we can say content is fire. That means the content inside the tube is fire and that is why it is called fire tube boiler. So there may be this type of tubes also. So the content inside this is water and this water absorbs the heat from these tubes and through these tubes the hot gases are passing through. Therefore the in fire tube boilers combustion gas passes inside a series of tubes surrounded by water in a vessel to produce steam. It may not be series of tubes it may be single tube also. It may be a big single tube also or it may be many tubes. There is another type of boiler that is called a water tube boiler. In water tube boiler, water is sent through a series of tubes surrounded by combustion gas used to transfer heat energy and produce steam say this is a big these two are big tubes and these are some small tubes connected between these two big tubes and if we put fire at the bottom then water inside the tubes will absorb the heat from the tubes which are heated by this product of combustion and ultimately the water this say this is the steam drum where at the upper part there will be steam and at the lower part there will be water of course so the water will be heated and the steam will be collected at the top water is inside the tube and tubes are heated by the product of combustion or combustion gases so the content of the tube is water and the tubes are surrounded by the combustion gases or fire so that is why it is called water tube boiler. In this diagram you can see the blue ones are the water tubes represented by blue color. Hot gases are passing like this and in this way maximum amount of heat is being absorbed by the tubes which are ultimately absorbed by the water to get converted into steam. Next, based on the number of tubes, boilers may be classified as single tube boiler 
or multiple tube boiler. A boiler having only one fire tube or water tube is called a single tube boiler. If the number of tube is two or more than two, then it is called multi tube boiler or multi tubular boiler. So it may be fire tube or water tube, but if the number of tubes are more, more than one, then it will be called multi tubular boiler. For example, in this case, it is part of the simple vertical boiler in which the product of combustion is passing through the tubes, which is a big tube and that is why it is called the single tube boiler. Of course, it is fire tube, single fire tube boiler. And if the number of tubes, it may be fire tube or water tube, is more than one, then it, it will be called multi-tubular boiler. Based on the axis of the cell, the boiler may be classified as horizontal, vertical or inclined boilers. For example, the simple vertical boiler is a vertical boiler because the axis of the boiler is vertical and that is simple vertical boiler is a single tube vertical fire tube boiler so this is a simple vertical boiler suppose this is the axis of the boiler the axis is vertical and that is why it is simple vertical boiler is a vertical boiler as well as fire tube boiler and it is single tube boiler Boiler may be classified according to the position of the furnace also and those are internally fired boiler and externally fired boiler. Internally fired boilers are the boilers in which the furnace is integral part of the structure of the boiler. That means furnace is located inside. And externally fired boilers have a separate furnace at outside the boiler body. Most of the fire tube boilers are internally fired and all water tube boilers are generally externally fired boilers. Some examples of internally fired boilers are Cochrane boiler, Lancashire boiler and locomotive boiler. And of course simple vertical boiler is a internally fired boiler. An example of externally fired boiler are Starling boiler, Babcock and Wilcox boiler. We'll discuss Babcock and Wilcox boiler in details later. And of course the Cochrane boiler also. Based on the methods of circulation of water and steam, boiler may be classified as forced circulation and natural circulation boiler. So in natural circulation boiler, the circulation of water and steam take place because of the convective current that sets up during the heating of the water. When water is heated by burning some fuel, the density of the hot water particles will become less and it will go up and this space is occupied by some cold water whose density so that way a convective current is set up and that type of circulation or current is called the natural circulation boiler and in case of a force circulation to water circulation takes place with the help of a centrifugal pump driven by some external power. The circulation is forced by some external agency and that is why it is called forced circulation boiler. Some examples are Lancashire and Cochrane boiler etc. are natural circulation boiler and La Monte boiler and Benson boiler these are forced circulation boiler. Generally all modern boilers are forced circulation boiler because modern boilers operate under high pressure and it produce huge quantities of steam. Based on operating pressure and temperature, 
बॉयलर में भी क्लासीफाइड एज लो प्रेशर बॉयलर मीडियम प्रेशर बॉयलर एंड ऑल्सो एज हाई प्रेशर बॉयलर दिस क्लासीफिकेशन डिपेंड्स वी मे ऑल्सो क्लासीफाई एज सिम्पली एज लो प्रेशर एंड हाई प्रेशर एंड इट इज ऑल्सो क्लासीफाइड एज समटाइम्स सब क्रिटिकल प्रेशर बॉयलर एंड क्रिटिकल प्रेशर बॉयलर and also super critical pressure boiler critical pressure we have studied in the thermodynamics that the critical pressure and critical temperature of water and steam are 221.2 bar and 374.14 degree centigrade or you can say 22.12 megapascal is the critical pressure if the boiler operates at a critical pressure or above critical pressure then it is called critical pressure boiler or also we can say super critical pressure boiler and boiler operating at pressure less than the critical pressure are called sub critical pressure boiler so we can classify like this also low pressure boilers generally corks within the pressure limit of 3.5 to 10 bar examples are cochrane and cornish boiler medium pressure boilers working pressures are between 10 bar to 25 bar example lancaster boiler and locomotive boiler high pressure boilers have pressure more than 25 bar for example babcock wilcox boiler and also we can classify as super high pressure boiler which is more than 80 bar pressure example is lamont velox benson boilers and super critical boilers are operating pressure is more than 22.12 megapascal and these boilers are actually drumless and single pass boiler based on nature of use boiler may be classified as stationary boiler and portable boiler or also we can say mobile boiler so stationary boilers are the boilers which cannot be transported easily from one place to another so they are called stationary boilers and portable or mobile boiler movable boilers are the boilers which can be easily transported or moved from one place to another and accordingly they are classified as stationary and portable boilers stationary boilers lancaster boiler babcock and wilcox these are stationary boilers and locomotive boiler is an example of portable boiler this is an example of portable boiler which is used in locomotives and this babcock and wilcox boiler is example of stationary boiler and also this is lancaster boiler which is stationary boiler there are many other criteria or basis on which boiler can be classified so there are other classifications like based on the nature of draught draught we'll discuss later draught is the process of supplying fresh air inside the boiler uh, to maintain complete or proper combustion of the fuel and this happens due to a pressure difference and that pressure difference or maintaining that pressure difference may be natural or artificial so if the supply of air is ensured naturally by using chimney only then that is called natural draft boiler and if the artificial methods like using some force fan or induced fan then it is called force it is called forced draft boiler or also you can say artificial draft boilers similarly based on the types of fuels it may be called coal fired boiler pulverized coal fired boiler stoker fired boiler and hand fired boiler like this how the boiler is fed also if gas is used then it is called gas fired boiler if the fuel is oil then it is called oil fired boiler or it may be wood fired boiler also so we can classify many other ways 
एंड ऑफ कोर्स बेस्ड ऑन द नेचर ऑफ हीट सोर्सेस बॉयलर में भी क्लासीफाइड बॉयलर में ऑल्सो भी ऑपरेटेड बाय हीट सोर्सेस हीट प्रोड्यूस बाय न्यूक्लियर पावर सो अकॉर्डिंगली इट मे बी क्लासीफाइड लाइक दिस and based on the boiler size and rating boiler may be classified and also on the basis of shape of the tubes and their position how the tubes are positioned based on that the boiler can be classified so this is all about classification of boilers based on different criteria so in the next class we will discuss about cochran boiler which is a vertical multi tubular fire tube boiler coal fired boiler so based on classification point of view also we will discuss cochran boiler in the next class so thank you for watching